Mr. Pooter and Tabby pour the tea. One, Mr. Pooter. Before he got his fine cat, Tabby, Mr. Pooter lived all alone. In the mornings, he had no one to share his English muffins. In the afternoons, he had no one to share his tea, and in the evenings, there was no one Mr. Butter could tell his stories to, and he had the most wonderful stories to tell. All day long, as Mr. Butter clipped his roses, and fed his tulips. And watered his trees. Mister Pooter wished for some company. He had warm muffins to eat. He had good tea to pour, and he had wonderful stories to tell. Mister Pooter was tired of living alone. Mister Pooter wanted a cat. Two, Tabby. Mister Pooter went to the pet store. Do you have cats? He asked the pet store lady. We have fourteen, she said. Mister Pooter was delighted, but when he looked into the cage, he was not. These are kittens. He said, "I was hoping for a cat." Oh, no one wants cats, sir," said the pet store lady. "They are not cute. They are not peppy." Mister Pooter himself had not been cute and peppy for a very long time. He said, "I want a cat." Then go to the shelter, sir," said the pet store lady. "You are sure to find a cat." Mister Pooter went to the shelter. "Have you any cats?" he asked the shelter man. "We have a fat gray one, a thin black one, and an old yellow one." Said the man. Did you say old? Asked Mister Butter. The shelter man brought Mister Butter the old yellow cat. Its bones creaked, its fur was thinning, and it seemed a little deaf. Mister Butter creaked. His hair was thinning. And he was a little deaf too, so he took the old yellow cat home. He named her Tabby, and that is how their life began. Three, Mister Pooter and Tabby. Tabby loved Mister Pooter's tulips. She was old, and beautiful things meant more to her. She would rub past all the yellow tulips, then she would roll past all the red tulips. Then she would take her bath among all the pink tulips. Mister Butter clipped roses, while Tabby bathed. In the mornings, Mister Pooter and Tabby liked to share an English muffin. Mister Pooter ate his with jam. Tabby ate hers with cream cheese. In the afternoons, Mister Pooter and Tabby liked to share tea. 
Mr. Pooter took his with sugar. Tabby took hers with cream. And in the evenings, they sat by the window, and Mr. Pooter told stories. He told the most wonderful stories. Each story made Tabby purr. On summer days, they warmed their old bones together in the sun. On fall days, they took long walks through the trees, and on winter days, they turned the opera up very loud. After a while, it seemed as if they had always lived together. Tabby knew just what Mr. Butter was going to do next. Mr. Butter knew just where Tabby was going to sleep next. In the mornings, each looked for the other. As soon as they opened their eyes, and at night, each looked for the other as their eyes were closing. Mr. Pooter could not remember life without Tabby. Tabby could not remember life without Mr. Pooter. They lived among their tulips and trees. They ate their muffins. They poured their tea. They turned up the opera. And enjoyed the most perfect company of all. Each other.